First test I'm going to do here is with the uh, vacuum former, and I pulled the plastic off the blue foam and used spray adhesive to put it to this frame. And I have my infrared light, and I'm going to time it and heat it up, and then slide this form under, which uh, the cement form. This lamp has two separate elements, I'm about uh, 13 inches off the surface, close to 100 Fahrenheit already. 105. It's been 30 seconds, I'm at 113. It's starting to sag and change shape a little bit here. Coming up on one minute, I'm at about 180 degrees. I did a lot better just forming up a hand over the concrete that was heated. All through here, I don't know how much this you can see, but it is flattened out and uh, like melted, compressed together. This was not heated, my concrete form was not heated, but I'm really starting to think that it probably won't make a difference. I'm, I'm, I'm realizing that vacuum may not be the way to go. Just because you, when you heat it up and you form it, that's one thing, but if you sh actually stretch it, it compresses together. Uh, it's kind of hard to describe it. It's, um, it's more the texture of like a pancake than, than, um, than chewing gum, you know, where uh, polystyrene stretches out and long elongates. When this elongates, it compresses together like smashing the pancake instead of, you know, just... Uh, I could see it would probably get to the point where it actually would just tear. I'm going to go ahead and call this uh, this a failure. But I, I am still thinking that maybe it's the way the heat is transferred. So I'm going to try one more uh, experiment right now. As soon as you take it away, the steam away, it gets I mean, it's so cool to the touch. Yep, that's useless. <laughs> that is definitely not going to work. Well, my conclusion of this It didn't work. <laughs> it worked better having the form underneath uh, heated up. Compressed the, the foam too much, and you can see here, and it's really weak in some spots and stronger in others, and because it was expanded out too far, did not work well. Uh, I'm going to put a kind of a cap on this whole fan fold foam uh, molding experiment thing and basically I'm, uh, I've, dis I've discovered that there's no real easy way to do it at home uh, that I can come up with. I tried steam, I tried, well you saw in the video all the different things I tried and the last one was to actually boil it because my easy star when I was uh, dialing it in after, all the, after the modifications I did have a little bit of a <laughs> nose dive not real bad, but I uh, did a little bit of a kink in it, so I was making some um, uh, airplane soup and straight, straightening out the front of it. And I thought, oh, this is a good time to um, to try the boiling uh, water method for the, uh, shaping the fan fold foam. And I am boiling some, some foam. And what I've discovered is you could boil this all day and push it down in there all you want, and the most you're going to get out of it is a is a bend. 
and then as soon as it comes out it's it's rigid so there's pretty much no way that you're gonna like you know take this and force this into a maybe if you put a little butter on it might help I don't, I don't know but um, yeah that's just not gonna happen the only you know possibly useful thing that I've you know, discovered by boiling is that if you boil it for about you know three or four minutes uh, and then take it out and it, after it's cool it is very has a very strange texture you can you can mold it then push it in really push it hard and get it in there you will put dimples in with your finger if you had another you know f form that you pressed on in you wouldn't have that but it takes the shape of the mold pretty good actually really good the problem is once it gets to this state, it never gets hard again, look. <laughs> so it's pretty much useless unless you put some kind of a skin on the outside. Uh, but that pretty much defeats the purpose of using the, of the, the foam because you have the flexibility and the lightness, but you would have like no strength. I think even if you put the, the form actually in the water, if you had made a form out of uh, maybe, you know, aluminum or uh, whatever, uh, and even then you'd still have to use some type of vacuum, and suck the the piece to it kind of like a vacuum forming but actually under boiling water and um, it's just I think it's just too much trouble there are just you, other materials that will uh, probably work better for this and I'll be on to those experiments next but now I know at least what doesn't work thanks for watching